Hello, and welcome to the Saigon Times News. My name is Devin Morrissey, and here are the top five socioeconomic stories that affect us this week. Stock investments cause losses for multiple non-financial firms. ETC launch causes congestion on Ho Chi Minh City, Long Tan, Yao Ye Expressway. Ho Chi Minh City acts to cope with possible monkeypox outbreak. 75% of small firms fail to access formal loans. Financial Ministry urges corporate bond investors to exercise prudence. A plunge in share prices on the local stock market has led to many non-financial businesses facing huge losses. Stocks are a popular investment vehicle selected by firms active in production, business and construction in the 2020-2021 period, when their business and production operations were halted by the COVID pandemic. In the first half of 2022, the stock market turned volatile due to new rate adjustments, sending stock prices down. Tan Tai Group, SJSC, reported its after-tax profit of negative 22.6 billion Vietnam dong in the second quarter of the year, while it made a hefty profit in the same period last year. The loss was attributed to its investments in stocks. Lycoji 14 JSC and Danang Housing Investment Development JSC incurred losses from their securities investments. A traffic snarl up hit the Ho Chi Minh City Lom Tan Yao Ye Expressway on July 26th as the operator of the road began electronic toll collection, ETC. ETC on this busy expressway was earlier planned to start early next month as required by the government. ETC is expected to help reduce traffic jams on the expressway, especially at the toll stations on weekends and holidays. In recent months, Traffic congestion has become a usual sight on the Ho Chi Minh City Lom Tan section of the 55km expressway. Data showed that around 55,000 vehicles use the expressway a day, meaning that this road has the highest traffic density in the country. The expressway's three toll stations, Lom Phuc, National Highway 51 and Yao Ye, now have 25 ETC lanes. But many vehicles had no e-tags or no balance in their ETC accounts when entering the expressway on the day, causing a traffic snarl up at the toll stations, especially Lom Phuc and National Highway 51 stations on the Ho Chi Minh City Lom Tan section. The Ho Chi Minh City Health Authority will tighten the screening of those traveling to the city by air or by sea to early detect suspected monkeypox cases as part of the city's coping plan amid the spike in monkeypox infections in many countries, especially in Asia. The director of the Municipal Department of Health, Tang Chi Tun, said the city has detected no monkeypox cases, but the health department urged all medical facilities citywide to be on high alert. The Ho Chi Minh City Center for Disease Control, HCDC, was told to monitor all passengers arriving through the city's border gates especially those who develop high body temperatures and acute rash. People with epidemiological and clinical factors linked to the disease will be taken to the Ho Chi Minh City Hospital for Tropical Diseases or general hospitals to be monitored. A mere 25% of small and medium enterprises SMEs, have gained access to formal credit while many others are struggling with their poor financial health. According to the Enterprise Development Agency under the Ministry of Planning and Investment, the remaining 75% of SMEs are receiving loans from friends, families or non-bank lenders. Many firms' low financial capacities have hindered them from accessing formal loans. A shortage of capital has slowed down SMEs' plan for digital transformation Meanwhile, access to loans and digital transformation are seen as key factors for small firms to recover and grow after the pandemic. The Ministry of Finance has advised investors to carefully consider the pros and cons of investment in corporate bonds. In a dispatch sent to investors on July 25th, the Ministry told individual buyers of corporate bonds 
through private placement to exercise prudence, learn about laws on bonds, and research the firms that issue bonds. The Ministry advised investors to thoroughly learn about the conditions for collateral, as well as its quality and value, along with commitments made by bond issuers to collateral. In many cases, real estate projects and stocks are used as collateral. However, the real estate and stock markets have become volatile, so the value of collateral might fall, affecting investors. That's all for now from the Saigon Times News. Thank you and have a great week.